Welcome back, guys, to another self-made based video. I'm Ian. I'm Jay. I'm Mac. And uh, today we're bringing you a uh, first time for SMB, a device that was provided to us by a, uh, I guess, an online e-market vendor. vendor. Milestone. Vendor. Yes, milestone. Yes, we've reached the big time, guys. Oh, we uh, did not sell out. I promise you. No, we're gonna give an honest review. But we appreciate GearBest provided us this device. They they reached out to me and asked whether or not we'd be willing to uh, do a quick review. SMV style of uh, this device and I accepted and they sent it to us and that's why we have this today. So it wouldn't be a device we would normally purchase, which is good because it gives us some variety and I'm glad they sent it because again, it gives us uh, some insight as to what other devices beyond what we're accustomed to are all about. So, uh, But it also makes me concerned that GearBest doesn't know that we roast products that deserve to be roasted. Yeah, so we're going to be honest regardless. Yeah, we're not going to change our opinion. No, so we haven't sold out, but at the same time, you know, we are going to say that we appreciate the fact that they sent this to us. And in fact, Absolutely. if you look in the description, there will be a link to this product. So if you want to purchase it, check out GearBest. If you don't know about them, um, it is coming from well, China. Now you do. Yeah, now you do. It is coming from China. It may take a little while. Um, two weeks, I think I've ordered from some stuff from them in the past. I've ordered plenty of stuff. I've ordered China. several things. It does take a while, but the pricing is... Oh, speaks for itself. It's, it's always competitive. It's yeah, very, competitive. very competitive pricing. So... Excellent marketing, and uh, I don't think I've ever had any problems with them, so I can't really say um, anything negative about it. So, again, this was sent to us by them for us for the purpose of this review, and again, we appreciate you sending this, guys. Good job. So let's go ahead and dive down. What are we bringing to you today? The uh, Pico by E-Leaf. So, Pico. Preferable, innovative, compact, outstanding. Did you memorize that? No, I just I was looking at the box. <laughs> or or if, you live, if you live in the south, uh, Pico de Gallo. Yeah, Pico de Gallo. So, packaging, it's nice, solid packaging. E-Leaf, company that I've, I've known to respect. In fact, I've got their Mellow, the original. I'm sorry. I actually got the Mellow 2. Great tank, enjoyed. The Mellow 3 just came out. Yeah. See, my vaping habits have changed. I've evolved into some massive tanks, you know. Right now, in fact, what are we vaping on? What are you vaping on? I'm vaping on my uh, Segeli 213 Fuchai, Fuchai, yeah. Fuchai <laughs> which we did a review. Check it out if you haven't. And I have a new tank, the Smock uh, Baby Beast. Which reviews to come. Review coming soon. And I have uh, RX 200S, which I don't think we ever did a review, but solid tank. It's been a, I'm sorry, solid mod. Been a while since it's been out, so I don't know if it's worth it. If you guys want to see it, maybe we'll do a review, show you the boxing, the packaging. And I've got the Aroma, Aroma, Aroma. Aromamizer Supreme <laughs> RDTA, which I would have never purchased this because I'm cheap, but you know, Mac made a dumb move and. Well, oh, I bought two of them. You bought like five right. that's, that's the one, yeah, that's that's the one, one I, I sold got. You. That's right. So I bought it from Mac it's at like, a discounted hey, price. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the trench coat on with like 20 tanks in it, trying to sell it. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm vaping on. What are you vaping on? I'm vaping on the Old infamous Q Boyd, mm -hmm. War Wounds and all. And I'm going back to the old original Griffin. Still one of my favorite tanks. Bad motherfucker. It's bad, 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 bad. <laughs> All right, anyway. Yeah. So, back to what we have here. So, as you can see from the close-up, we've got a nice packaging. On the front, uh, you can see what PICO stands for. It's an acronym. Now, the thing that stands out on this packaging are, uh, is the, uh, the battery. You know, the, what you can use. 18650 and 26650. A lot of versatility there. So for those guys that are looking for more capacity and not having to go dual, this this may be your go-to. And, and while, while we're at capacity, real quick, anybody who can chime in, I'm curious as to 26650, how that compares to dual 18650s. Yeah. We that, don't know. This is the first mod that we've ever used with this battery capacity, right? That is right? correct. So we have no idea. Let me know. I'm curious because if it's, if it's similar, then this may be a new thing for me. Yeah, so... And I have yet to order them. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any by the time this review was this review was filmed. So I plan to get at least two to start off with, see how it works. Don't lie, you're gonna get like ten of them. And at least two, maybe maybe four. Okay. <laughs> um, I got a lot of 18650s already, so this is the only device I have that does both. So again, I'll, I'll start off with two. If it works out well, I may transition and have this as my go-to stealth mod. But uh, Pico, as people may or may not know, Pico means small, right? It means like nano pico. Pico, like yeah, pico nanoscale. It's like smaller a, than a nano particle. Yeah, it's tiny as fuck. It's very, very extremely small. Very tiny. And that's what we're talking about food. 
Yeah. In which case, it's tomatoes and cilantro and, and shit, deliciousness. Right? <laughs> Bigger you guy. Put it on your taco <laughs> or your chips. So uh, again, box wise, we got the Elite branding. Bottom, we got the black version. Thank you again, Gearbest and Elite again. And on the back, the hot pink, but they ran out. Yeah. Again, to match Max Cadillac. It has a chandelier in it. <laughs> by night, he does uh, reviews on mods, and by day, he does Mary Kay. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't know, Mary Kay is a cosmetic line for women, and he's very feminine. So, you know. so, <laughs> so on that note, uh, back of the box, we got QR code, we got UPC, we've got uh, a nice disclaimer. Little keep out of reach of children, which is nice because that's what all devices should have. In from the all caps. Yeah, in all caps. Children do not vape. Don't do it. It's bad for you. Yeah. Well. I don't know if it's bad for you, but kids shouldn't be vaping. Kids You're under 18, it's bad for you. Just disgust me when kids vape. Parents, watch your kids. Hide them. So let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the packaging, we have the nice Pico Mega iStick E-Leaf mod. So we pull it out. Black, really nice finish. I vaped on this for about a week, week and a half. Um, nothing's worn off. Uh, the thing I like about it most, the form factor, but in addition to that, it's very lightweight in, when, when you put the battery in. So in comparison to some of the other devices I have, which, you know, I've had a couple of 18650 single bot, uh, mods and they, they're very, very heavy in comparison. So uh, here it goes. Nice screen, fire button right there. Nice clicking. On the bottom, we've got the up and down or positive minus. And what some people may seem or think as a con, we've got the, the port to put your uh, USB or your micro USB cable in. And you can charge off this device. I don't recommend it. I did it for the reload just to see if it would do it, and it does. But at the same time, 15 bucks, get yourself a night core, some charger that'll work. And then we have battery vent holes. Don't, don't pull a, a Note 7. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> no, you mean a Note 7 pulling an e-cig. Yeah. E-cigs have been blowing up for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. The Although, Note 7 is new to that game. We haven't blown up anything yet. <laughs> and if we do, trust me, we'll have a quick segue video into how dangerous mods are. But until then, <laughs> we're drinking. Um, so, yeah. So, the device we have, again, nice form factor, black finish, uh, stainless steel, Battery top right there, bottom buttons. Box-wise, we've got the device that came in this little nice styrofoam packaging. Then we pop this out. We've got a cable. Usub. Usb. 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 And we've got a pamphlet. And pamphlet-wise, it's nice. You know, it's thick. It's got about 80 languages. It's a lot of goddamn words. It is. But it's got pictures. And, yeah, we like pictures. Is it in color? It, there are colors in here. Oh my gosh. Black and white. Three colors. I saw some blue in there. Oh, wait, there, there's, yeah, some, there's some blue. There, there's some blue. There's some blue. Good job, e -Leaf. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, you got your little manual, but we don't the like to read. printer ran out of ink and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, packaging, there you go. That's what we have in here. Um, it's come kind of, I expect most of these devices to include a cable. This is firmware updatable. It allows for a lot of customization. So the cable does serve a purpose. It's not just there to you know, add to just charging. So for those of you that are really in-depth with uh, all sorts of menu functions and whatnot and customization, it'll do it. So let's go ahead and uh, pop a battery in here. Let me grab my GoTo25R Samsung. To put the battery in, you just unscrew the top. And, and we already said we don't have a 26650, right? Yeah, we do not have a 2650, unfortunately. But if you do, you just take out the little, little uh, adapter, place your 26650 in here. Why does it look like it's wet? What the hell have you been doing? Don't ask. <laughs> I, mean, I make everything wet I touch. <laughs> so, put that back in there. Put the device or the battery in. Now, battery goes down, and the reason and the way you know is if you look at this, there's a little uh, minus sign. Look at that. Isn't there a massive plus on the inside of the battery well as well? I don't know. Is there? No. Yes. You what? don't see that? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that ginormous? Well, we don't have lighting on here, but there's a big plus at the bottom. So <laughs> It's a massive plus. Yeah, so it's there. It was so big you couldn't see it. Yeah. My, my spectacles couldn't get it. <laughs> Which, by the way, I got new yeah, glasses. New, new spectacles. He bought these for fashion, but they're prescription for No, I got them because my wife said I needed to get them. So, put it in there, and it immediately turns on. So, uh, real quick, standard, five clicks, turns it off. Five clicks turns it on. Button has got a nice pronounced click. Uh, I vape in wattage mode, but
But for those of you that don't, we can go ahead and change it. So you just scroll through the menu function, temperature uh, one, or I'm sorry, temperature M2, M1, or M1, M2, M3. We've got wattage, we've got bypass, we've got smart. And uh, just to kind of cover some of that, the mm -hmm. wattage mode is one to 80 watts. Um, the uh, temperature control range is 100 to 315 degrees Celsius and 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty standard, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's again in temperature control mode. We got NI and TI coefficients already put in and programmed, stainless steel as well. And again, your, your TCRs, which you can kind of customize whatever wire you're using, you have that versatility to where you can, you're kind of future-proofed. Platinum and rhodium wires. Exactly. Adamantium. Yeah. All right, Wolverine. <laughs> hey, you caught that. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressive. We're all nerds here that drink <laughs> excessively in vape. So, again, a lot of versatility, uh, but for, for all intents and purposes, for what we do, wattage mode. So, we just turn it on and press the fire button is what we do. Does it vape good? Yes, in fact, Does we're going to find it out. Done? Tank, please. Or actually, not tank, RDA. So, the reason is I'm trying to highlight how compact this device is. So, again, this is only an uh, 18650, but if you had 26650, 26650, son of a... It's a tongue twister, I told you. Yeah, 26650. There you go. Um, adds more capacity and allows you to vape longer. Do you want to do a quick size comparison? Yeah, in fact. So here, here's the device. Put them all in there. Here's a cuboid. Here's a fuck eye. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a rouleau, which... Rouleau. Yeah. That's just a brick. Louisiana inspired. RX200S. So we've got the Fuchai 213. We've got the Rouleau RX200S, we've got the uh, Cuboid, and then look how small this little thing is. God damn. It's tiny. And you know what's really crazy is because when the, when the Cuboid came out, I thought it was... Very compact. Yeah, I thought it was avant-garde. It was the future of mods because how me? small it was, two batteries. Look at this shit. It's crazy. It is small. It's a 26650. Like, that's supposed to be a pretty big battery capacity. It, it looks like a little flask, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really cool. It's impressive. So... First thing to note, and again, we have it in watch mode, 55, uh, 55 watts, 0 0.71 build, dual canthal, uh, very simple build, anybody can do it. But I have that in this uh, Tsunami 22 millimeter RDA. Which brings us to our the, next topic. To the con. Yeah, so yes, it is a con for some folks because you cannot use your 25 mil tanks on it. Your 24.5 mil tanks. Yeah, anything over 22 millimeters, you're 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 kind of cutting it close. And if you see this battery uh, battery top right here, impedes your ability to use larger diameter tanks. So impedes. I was just repeating what you were saying. <laughs> you. <laughs> so uh, again, it may be common for some, but uh, again, this is a specific market it's trying to cater towards, and I get it. So again, if you're looking for an, you know, one device does all, this isn't it. But at the same time, what it does, it does it well. I disagree. I mean, I disagree and I agree. It, it um, could make a good starter tank. Starter it's, it's a great mod, mod but I, I think that they kind of dropped the ball by limiting you to the 22. You know, the SX Mini looks ugly with 24 and 25 millimeter tanks because it hangs over, yep. but you have the ability to still vape on your favorite tanks. With this one, you cannot vape on anything beyond 22 millimeters. And to me, that's that's a pretty big con. It, and it is. And, the and other, maybe not to everybody, but for me it is. And again, like we mentioned, the other con that some folks find are the uh, the fact that the port is at the bottom along with the buttons, which I, mean, I really don't see as being a yeah, con. I don't care about that. So the biggest thing that, that we're going to highlight is the fact that it only supports 22 millimeters. But as you can see how compact this device is with my Tsunami, it, it may serve a purpose. Again, if they had to include uh, the ability to have 25 millimeter or anything beyond the existing 22, they'd have to heighten the device. It would have to have a big, bigger form factor. Are there maybe custom battery caps that are not let's, as wide that put would the, allow uh, more? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Let's put the Baby Beast tank on it. Yeah. What is that, like negative three? <laughs> the, the diameter <laughs> is a negative five millimeters. No, what? it's about the juice capacity. Yeah. <laughs> what the um, hell is this? It's like three of Like negative four milliliters? <laughs> <laughs> so here's what it looks like with a TFV8 yeah, looks really baby beans. Yeah, it looks really good. That's a 22 mil? Yeah. 22 milliliter? Milliliter. milliliter. One's volume, one's... Uh... I got you. Okay, I got gotcha. you. 
<laughs> so it looks nice. Again, if you actually have I, this tank, I'm personally a fan of, of smaller and stealthy devices, and that looks great. What's oh yeah. The, uh, what's the juice capacity on that tank anyway? Kind it's, of to digress. It's two and a half or three okay. millimeters. Okay. No, three hits and you're out. Milliliters. So in fact, review to come on this. We have yet to do it, but we're going to do it. Um, but back to the star of the show, which is this device right here. So again, this shit right. So lots of versatility with regards to uh, wire control, TCR, custom menu functions, firmware updatable. Um, so it's future-proof for people that are looking for or in the market for a device that supports an, only a 22 millimeter deck uh, tank. So, By definition, is an oxymoron because if you're limiting to one size tank, then you're not really future-proof. With wire and coils, better. So, again, very compact. In fact, stop talking and start vaping. Put your vape where your mouth is. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Yeah, that sounded that sounded filthy here. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are some filthy buffoons, so that's true. So, small device, as you can see, you can get reasonable and decent cloud production out of something with this form factor. So as far as blowing clouds, that's not a limitation. It's all about how you build it or what you're building. Again, this is a Canthal build, not the most efficient. You can go with Nichrome, which is normally my go-to in a lot of tanks. But this is one of my, uh, this is my RDA that I use in my Cricut, my Noisy Cricut. And that's a mech mod in series, so it spikes up the voltage considerably whenever I'm vaping. But it handles it well. And my battery life with this build at uh, 0.71 dual Canthals, it goes well. I mean, in fact, I can vape on this for a solid 45 minutes to an hour with the way I vape and not have to worry about changing out a battery. So, uh, But with a 26650, it would last even longer. We hope, and I'm hoping to have that. And maybe in future reviews, you'll see me vaping on it. Well, I think we know that the 26650 is going to last longer than an 18650. I guess my question is... How long? How much? Right. Does it? Is it close to two 18650s, or is it just a little bit more than one 18650? Real-world usage, not... MAH, you know, real world usage. Cause I vape like a, like it's going out of style. Yeah, it's like it's. Just I down. vape like the U.S. government is trying to take away our vaping rights. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a <laughs> minute. <laughs> That's horrible. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> so, again, the device itself great. Um, easy menu functions to navigate. Uh, full full customization. Firmware updatable. Includes a cable, plug up to your computer, download software, you're good to go. And all in all, I'd say it's solid. So uh, again, this is an unbiased review, although GearBest, thank you again, provided this device, this device for reviewing. Um, I would say it's a thumbs up for me. Although it has a limitation of a 22 millimeter deck for uh, you know your tanks, your RDAs, it's still getting a thumbs up. See, and to me, it's he says it's an although. To me, that's a huge, huge problem. So, huge. I think that the, the, the tank does everything else. Can I, can I hold it while I give my final thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's tiny, ideal. This is, to me, the perfect, the perfect mod looks like this in your hand. This is awesome. Are you firing the, it? The finish, yeah, it was. I was firing it. <laughs> the finish is really nice. The screen is really bright. It's oh, yeah. simple. Does it do the accelerometer? No, but no. you can flip the screen if you want to. Okay, but you can change the screen so it doesn't flip automatically. Left yeah, or right hand, you've got deal. Everything about this mod is great, but to me, the lack of, the fact that you cannot put anything bigger than a 22 millimeter tank on there is a big problem for me because my favorite tanks right now are 25 millimeters. And that's, you know, to me, that's a, that's a huge problem. I think that they dropped the ball in the design there. They could have just extended it a little bit longer or well, something. I, they could have fixed it. And I wouldn't say drop the ball because they're catering to a specific form factor. In I don't, order to I don't think it. they were catering. I think they dropped the ball. I think they dropped the ball. I don't think they realized what they were doing. Why would you cater to just 22 millimeter tanks? That makes why, no sense. Why are you to hating me so much, Matt? Yeah. I'm not hating because I'm giving it one thumb up and one thumb down. So he's on the fence for pending. I'm thumbs up. Ian? I, I like the, uh, it's ergonomic, you know, fits in your hand very well. You have the option to use a 26650 or 18650. If you have 26650s, that was a thumbs up. There. No, you got it. If you have them laying around and you buy this mod, I mean, you can use it. Good to go. And uh, I personally like smaller mods, so it gives a thumbs up from me. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. So, again, great product, solid. Uh, it doesn't 
it doesn't appeal to everybody again because Mac made it very clear that oh and I have a bunch of 22 millimeter tanks so yeah so if you have 22 millimeter tanks you don't have anything to worry about or if you and have, I have plenty of 22 millimeter tanks but to in fact me, you're the, vaping on a 22 right I'm now. vaping on a 22 right now but to me the fact that I can't switch to my Aroma Miser Supreme or my Griffin 25 that's a problem for me yep so take it as you will just keep that in mind when you're per if you're looking to purchase this. Again, we have a link in the description to GearBest if you want to purchase from them. Great company, been around for a long time. Not only, not only sells uh, e-cig devices, but they also sell a bunch of other stuff. Just they check sell everything. Out. Yeah, everything. everything. <laughs> so, uh, on that note, closing notes. We, you know, we've already said our impressions. Anything else? No, I like it. I like the. I, I like the mine. I, I do like the mine. It's to me, it's it's kind of reminiscent of the Theorem. It did a lot of things right, which was an there atomizer. Was, there were a lot of shitty things that just ruined it. <laughs> and it's not that bad because I like the mine. So I wouldn't compare it to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, that was a bad comparison. We roasted the hell out of that. Yeah, it's not a bad mine. It's... Yeah, the 22 millimeter is just a problem for me. I'm sorry. And again, this wouldn't be a device that SMB would normally review because, again, as Max st stated to his point, we have a lot of 25 millimeter tanks. So we want that option of putting on a 25 millimeter tank. But again, since this was sent to us, it's a great opportunity for us to review the device that we would normally not get. And uh, I would, again, thumbs up on my part. So, yeah. And pending. Whatever that means. Yeah. Neutral. 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 Gang signs. So, uh, <laughs> you know what, guys? We've rambled enough. We appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great night. Have a good